guys, welcome back to my channel and today is a very very exciting video. I am so excited to be filming this video. So if you watched my video from yesterday, I went to the Toronto Vintage Clothing Show which you guys know I love. It is like my favorite time of the year because it's where I buy most of my vintage stuff. So uh, that happened this weekend so I did like a little vlog so if you guys haven't seen that I'm going to be linking it down in the description box as well as putting it as like a pinned comment under this video. Um, but I ended up buying so many things. I have them all spread out here beside me and Honestly, I didn't think that I was going to end up buying this many things. Like, I went into it knowing that I was going to be buying things, obviously. But I didn't think I was going to find this many things. And I, I didn't really realize how much stuff I bought until I put it all together. And I was like, oh, I did some serious damage. Um, I just found so many amazing pieces. So I really want to share them with you guys. I know a lot of you guys have been asking on my Instagram when I'm going to be posting the video. They're not really organized. I just kind of like threw things into bags as I was shopping. So it's kind of all over the place. I have accessories. I have clothes. I have some random little like knickknack kind of things. Um, so I really want to like take my time and kind of go through everything. I just want to have it more like this video be more of like a chit chat kind of video so that I can actually talk about each piece and we can just kind of like hang out together. So grab a coffee, grab a tea, grab a snack because it's going to be a really, really long video. Okay, so I'm not really sure where to start. I'm just going to grab a random bag and then I'll just show you guys what's inside because like I said, it's kind of all, all over the place. Um, so this is, oh, okay. So, okay. So right before the Toronto Vintage Clothing Show, I went to Ian Drummond's studio to film some things for the Toronto Vintage Clothing Show. So Ian Drummond, he does like vintage um, clothing rentals for like film and TV and stuff like that. Um, so I went in there and I filmed a reel. I'm going to be linking it down in the description box. But I ended up buying two of the things that I actually styled in the video. Um, so one of the first things that I got is this little pair of shorts. I'm going to put this down. Um, I got these little shorts and I think they're so cute. They are 1980s, um, but I think with the right styling, I can make them look a little bit more 1940s, 1950s. 60s they fit beautifully like I actually have a really hard time finding shorts that fit me That's probably why I don't wear them very often um, But these ones actually fit beautifully. I love the color. I think it's so much fun They have little white little pinstripes on them, and I think they're super cute then I also Got this one wasn't in the video I just ended up picking this up when I was in the studio because it was so cute um, this little flower brooch and it is absolutely stunning it's all made out of like fabric and there's like little tiny little beads almost it is absolutely beautiful it looks amazing with what I'm wearing right now I probably should have worn it at the vintage show with this outfit because I did wear this outfit on the first day um, but it is just so beautiful I love the colors on it I think I'm going to be wearing this for Easter because I think the colors will work really well um, and then the other item that I got from Ian Drummond that was in that video is this 1930s lavender dress and it fits me perfectly. Like look at how beautiful these little ruffly collars are, not collars, sleeves. Uh, it just looks so pretty and it just fits like a dream. There's also little ruffles here at the bottom. It is just, it's so pretty. I can't wait to wear this in the summertime. I am going on a trip in June. I'm not really gonna get into it right now, but I am going on a trip. So this might be something that might be coming with me because it is really lightweight and just kind of travels really easily. And then I know I have another piece that I got from Ian Drummond and I just don't know where it is. I'm sure it'll pop up at some point. I like tossed it in one of these other bags. I don't know where it is. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to grab another bag and I'll show you guys what's in here. So um, something else that I got is this little scarf. So it looks like this and it is so beautiful. It has flowers all over it. There's like blue, yellow, green, and red. And I think this is going to work well with so many different outfits. Like even with what I'm wearing right now, I think this would work really well if I have it like tied around my head or something. So I think this is going to be really great for the spring and summer. So this one was only $5, which I thought was a really good deal. I'll try to include like the seller or the vendor's name up here as well as some of the prices if I can remember how much the pieces were. So I know this one for sure was $5 and I thought that was really, really cute. So then I have another clothing item um, and this one is a little 1950s little blouse and I just thought it was so cute. I love these little sheer blouses and I feel like I can never find tops at the thrift store especially or just like tops in general because I feel like they tend to be a little bit more expensive if I'm looking for them on Etsy like they almost cost the same as a dress and I feel like for the price I would rather just get a dress over a top even though I know the top 
I could wear with more outfits, but I just feel like I can't justify spending that kind of money on just a plain top. So I found it this one. It was only $20, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. It is in perfect condition, so that's always good. Um, it has a little bit of like a little lace trim on it, which I think is really cute. It's very like feminine. Okay, and then the last thing in this bag is this little 1920s little lacy crochet handbag, and it is just so beautiful. It's like a creamy kind of color, and then it has a pearl here in the center and I just thought it was so pretty. My phone fits in there which is really important and I believe this was $30. It definitely wasn't more than $30. It could have been a little bit less. It is from the 1920s so I didn't expect it to be really cheap. Like it wasn't going to be like $5 or something. So I did kind of splurge on it but the reason that I got it is because I actually got a dress that matches this perfectly and the dress was kind of like my biggest find of the day. So when I saw this I was like oh my gosh that is going to pair wonderfully together. So I have another bag and I think it's so funny how when you go to like a vintage show or something the bags that they give you are so random like this is just like a gift bag. Um, but anyway so I ended up getting a pair of shoes. I actually ended up getting two pairs of shoes uh, yesterday or at the vintage show and I am really really excited about them. I've actually never bought vintage shoes before and these ones are actually dead stock so they've never been used before and these ones are from Eaton's. And these are just little sandals so they're kind of like a beigey kind of color with a little bit of brown and I just thought this would work well with like so many different outfits for the summertime and they're just so cute like I love the little straps on it and I just thought they were really really pretty and I love the little heel. It's gonna be really great for like everyday kind of wear. Um, so yeah, these are really cute. I believe I got these for like $15, which I thought was pretty good for shoes. So yeah. And then the next thing that I have is kind of random, but it's actually something that I've been on the hunt for for a really long time and I just haven't been able to find it. And I just kind of like randomly found it like on my way out of the vintage show. And it is a little camera case for my vlogging camera that does not have a long strap. So I have this thing with like long straps. We've talked about this on my channel so many times, but I don't like things rubbing against my clothes. I do tend to stick to handbags that I can actually hold in my hand. I don't like crossbody bags, but my vlogging camera, when I take it out places, it does have a long strap. So sometimes I end up just holding it in my hand and have like the strap like wrapped around my hand and it just looks so ugly. So then I found this one and it's like a little vintage camera case and then it has this short little strap and I thought this was so cute. My vlogging camera fits in here, which is amazing. And then I can just kind of hold it like this. Um, and it's actually really funny because it comes with a little tiny version of the bag so that you can put like your film in it. But obviously my vlogging camera doesn't use film so I'm not really sure what I'm going to be putting in this tiny little bag but I just thought it was so cute. Like you have the big one then you have the little tiny one. Like how cute is that? I love it. So this is going to be really amazing. I can take this with me whenever I go out on like day trips and stuff and I can just carry my vlogging camera. Um, okay, which one should I pull from next? Okay, this one. So, okay, I told myself that I wasn't going to buy any occasion wear because every time that I go to the Toronto Vintage Clothing Show, I tend to buy going out dresses and it's not like I go out that often, as you guys know from my vlogs. Um, but I saw this dress and I was like, okay, this is perfect. So you guys know I love 1950s prom dresses and realistically, where am I going to be wearing a 1950s prom dress? Like literally nowhere. So when I saw this, I was like, okay, this is the perfect compromise. I can actually wear this to dinner and it still kind of has that like 1950s youthful like prom dress kind of feel to it um so it's a light blue which is very classic every time i think of like 1950s prom i think of this exact shade um so it looks like this and it has the most beautiful neckline on it it is so flattering and feminine and just like really really soft um, and then the bottom part of it has these little lines with like little ruffly kind of things on it. And tell me the bottom of this does not remind you of a 1950s prom dress, but like in a more wearable kind of version. So I could totally wear this to dinner and stuff and it's just going to be so pretty. I am so excited to wear this. I think it's so stunning. Okay, so this was a very spontaneous impulse purchase and I'll explain. So I saw this, one of the sellers had this little basket and I just thought it was so cute. And I was with my mom, my mom went with me on the first day and I was looking at it and she was like, that is so cute, like you have to buy that. And I was kind of debating cause I'm like, what am I gonna put in here? And then these two other girls beside me were looking at it and I knew that if I put it down, they were gonna grab it. So I just kind of felt the pressure and I just bought it. Um, it ended up being like $15, which is actually pretty expensive considering like what it is. I mean, yes and no. Like I'm sure it took a long time to actually make it. So I guess I shouldn't be saying that it was too expensive. Um, but I mean, considering compared to other things that I bought, like compared to a pair of shoes, it was a little bit expensive. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to put in here. It's really cute. It's kind of all made out of like yarn. So I don't know if it was like crocheted 
um, and then it has a little like light pink trim on it and these two little strawberries, little dangling strawberries, which I think is so sweet. Um, so I'm not really sure what to put in here. Let me know in the comments below. Um, but yeah, it's really, really cute. Okay, so the second thing that is in this bag is a hat and you guys know I couldn't go to a vintage show without buying a hat But I actually I was pretty good I actually bought two hats and I told myself that I could only get neutral colored hats because I feel like I do have some more like occasion wear hats So I am trying to get more things for like every day and I found this Incredible chocolate brown hat with a feather on it. You guys can kind of see it there I love hats that have feathers on them. It is just so stunning It has a little bit of netting here at the front that I think I'm gonna have to steam because it just kind of like bunches up a little bit but it is just so stunning I love it so much I don't have a single brown hat so I was really excited to kind of finally add one to my collection it's something that I've been really wanting to add to my hat collection every time that I put on an outfit I'm like this would look amazing with a brown hat and I just don't have one um, and this one I ended up paying $30 which I think is very reasonable for a vintage hat in perfect condition in this kind of like style I've been looking for one like this for a while so I was really really excited this thing that I have is <clears throat> Oh my god my voice is like I think I'm like losing my voice because and this happened to me on the after the first day of the vintage show on Saturday when I left my voice was my throat was kind of hurting a little bit and I just thought that it was because I was just talking so much but then yesterday the same thing happened and then today this morning I'm like I feel like I'm like losing my voice or something <clears throat> So I keep like trying to clear my voice so that I don't sound crazy. The next thing that I have is from, I know this is from Vintage Soul Geek and I have had my eye on this for, I want to say like two years since, I don't know, it's just been a really long time since I've had my eye on this and I figured I might as well just buy it. Um, I was with some friends in the, um, when I was in his booth and they were like, oh my god, you have to buy that. And it is just so cute. It's like a little 1930s crochet little knit brooch and it's a little hat with a little dangling handbag and it is so stunning like i'm telling you i saw this like two years ago and like when i was going into the vintage show i was like oh my god i wonder if vintage soul geek brought this exact brooch and they did and i was like okay so i ended up buying it and i've just had my eye on it for a really long time so i kind of splurged on it um it was regular 30 dollars, and i'm pretty sure they sold it to me for 20 which was incredibly incredibly sweet they are like the sweetest nick and connie from vintage soul geek are so sweet um but yeah so i've had my eye on this for a really long time so i'm actually really excited that i finally have it i think it's gonna work well with so many different outfits it even matches exactly what i'm wearing right now with like my hat and the little red from my outfit. I'm gonna put it back in its little tissue because I just, I don't want it to get ruined. And then, oh, here is the other thing that I got from Ian Drummond. Okay, so I ended up getting these little gloves and I know I said in my vlog post that I was not gonna buy any gloves, but these ones are so pretty. They're like little crochet ones and they're like this coral color and I just don't have anything in these tones. So I just ended up getting it because it was so pretty. I think these were like $10, so I thought that was a pretty, good deal for little gloves like this. I also picked up this little 1940s cardigan and it's black and it's all knit. You guys know how much I love little knit cardigans. And okay, it doesn't look like much like when I'm holding it up like this, but I will be doing a try on obviously so you guys will be able to see what it looks like, but it's all black and it's all like um, knit like this. I'm sorry, I'm really not doing a good job holding it up so you guys can actually see what it looks like. Um, and then it has these like bright blue little buttons here at the front. And it kind of has a little bit of like a peplum fit to it, which I think is so pretty. So you guys will see it in the try on. It'll look a lot better than me just holding it up like this. And I don't have anything like this. This is something brand new to my collection. I don't have a single piece that looks anywhere near this. So I'm really, really excited to wear this for the summertime or even just going into like the fall. I have, believe it or not, four, five more bags to show you guys. I, t I told you, I went crazy. So I ended up getting a couple of more brooches. So this is one that I got. So this one that you guys is actually gonna, oh my god. This one will actually seem a little bit familiar because I actually ended up wearing it on the second day at the vintage show. So it looks like this and it's like a little knit um, flower. It's like a little, I don't know if it's like a rose, but like it's a little round little light pink flower and it is so cute. I think it just looks so pretty with like little dresses. I ended up wearing it with like a black knit dress with a little white crochet collar and it just looked so pretty so I love this. I've been really trying to get some more like fabric brooches as opposed to like plastic ones so some that are like knit like this or like crochet or like some that are actually made of fabric like the little floral one I showed you guys at the very beginning. Um, and then I also ended up getting a little 
um, sweater clip. So this one is so cute. This is like the only heart thing that I found. You guys know I love little heart shaped things. I included that in my list of things that I wanted to shop for at the vintage show on my blog post. So this is the only heart shaped thing that I got and it's a little sweater clip and it looks like this and then it has these tiny little white hearts and these like white beading. It's almost like, I think it's supposed to like mimic pearls, but they're like little plastic ones. And I just thought it was really, really cute. I think this is going to look really nice on like little shirt collars and it can kind of like dangle. Kind of like a, like a necklace almost. The next thing that I have, I have been dying to take out of the package, but I wanted to show you guys how cute she packaged these up. They're like this little plastic bag with a little bit of a pink trim on it with the price. Um, this one I ended up getting for $5. It was a little squished in the bag, so I was a little bit nervous about what it would look like. And oh my gosh. Guys, look at how stunning this is. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Oh my god, it's even prettier than I, it looked in the bag. I'm so excited. Okay, um, so again, little brooches like this that I can wear with like, I have to steam it so that it opens up a little bit more, but I can wear it with like dresses or on lapels on like a blazer or something. It is just so pretty. I love this so much. Okay, so brace yourself. This is the dress that I was talking about at the beginning of the video and this is my best find of the day. I am in love with this. I splurged. This is the most expensive thing that I bought and I think it was well worth it because it is everything. It is just so so stunning. So it is a bright blue, not bright blue, but it's not like a dark navy almost black blue. It's like you can tell that it's blue. Oh, oh let me wait. Let me button it up so you guys can actually see like the full thing. Wait. It has all the buttons, I'm just like too lazy to do them all up, but it looks like this. Look at this dress. Tell me this is not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in your entire life. It is in perfect condition and look at these details. I am in love with all this lace trimming on it, it's like 1940s dream and I'm not entirely sure what time period it's actually from. It feels very very thick. The seller said that it was 1940s just because of the label on it um, but she did tell me that she left the original dry cleaning bill um, that is from the 1970s which doesn't really tell me that much because we were kind of debating on if it was actually like an old dress that they got dry cleaned in the 1970s or if it was actually from the 1970s and it's like a revival piece. Um, but either way, it is absolutely stunning. I love it. It is very sturdy and just beautiful. So you guys will see it in the try-on because it is just, oh my gosh, it is so pretty. And tell me this would not look amazing with that little crochet dress that I showed, oh not dress, handbag that I showed you guys earlier. It's going to look so beautiful. And the best part is that the dress actually comes with a little matching belt so you can cinch in your waist and it is just everything. I am so excited to wear this. This one was $75, um, but she sold it to me for $70. So, I mean, I got a little bit of a discount there, but I did splurge on it. I normally don't spend that much money on dresses or I try not to anyway, unless it's something like amazing. So then I have my very first pair of vintage shoes. So the other ones that I showed you were my second pair. These ones are my actually very first pair of vintage shoes that I buy. And look at how stunning these shoes are. I am in love. They are so pretty. I think this is going to be amazing for the spring and summer. I'm so excited to wear these. Again, these ones are dead stock, so they have never been worn before, which is very, very exciting. So I'm the very first person to wear them. Um, and I just, I really love them. I think they're so pretty. Second thing that I got is so funny. So this one is from the same seller. And you guys know I always carry handkerchiefs in my purse because I always use it to like fix up my makeup or if I get like a little smudge on my shirt or my shoe or something. Um, but this one is actually red and it says lipstick on it and there's a little dog on it. And I just thought it was so cute because I always wear red lipstick. So if I wanna like, like wipe off my lipstick for whatever reason, it's already red. So I don't have to worry about staining my actual like white handkerchiefs. Um, so yeah, I just thought it was like really funny. It was only like three dollars So it was a little bit more of like a little fun little thing to buy. Okay, then I have two more things in this bag um, So I ended up getting another chocolate brown hat, but it looks completely different. This one's a little bit more of like a little bonnet I'm gonna put this down because this color is 
awful. So it looks like this. It's a little bonnet hat. It's chocolate brown and it has a little bit of like a um, uh, velvet trim on it, which I think is really pretty. And then it has these light blue little flowers at the top. I'm not sure what time period this is from, to be honest. I had a really hard time trying to date it. It could be 1930s, 1940s, maybe. I'm not entirely sure, so don't quote me on that. If you have any idea, let me know in the comments below. Um, but I think it's really, really pretty. It's really flattering and yeah, it's gonna be really great on like a windy day because I can just tie it under my chin with the little straps and I don't have to worry about it flying away like I do with this hat. Oh, and I forgot to mention the price. This is $25. I got a little egg and you guys know I have these on my windowsill because I collect them. So I was a little bit torn because, okay, it's an egg. So, I mean, obviously I already love it. But the thing is, I was a little bit unsure of the color because I feel like it's gonna stand out really bright in my room. I have all of my other eggs like this under my windowsill over there and they all kind of like match together. They all have a little bit more white and I don't have any bright colors. So this one is like a bright blue so I was a little bit worried that it was going to be too bright but what kind of sold me on it was that when you open it it's actually music and you guys know I love music boxes. I am obsessed. You guys know I love anything with music. If it plays music, I'm already sold, like I already want it. There's actually two different ones. There was this one and there was like a really tall gold one with blue little diamondy kind of things on it. But I ended up settling on this one because it felt a little bit more traditional and I love the little flowers. And I also just love the melody on this one better than the other one, so. Okay, so the last two items that I have, I left for the very end because they are early birthday presents. So my birthday is not till June, it's on June 1st, but I was with my mom on the first day and these two Two pieces we both fell in love with them but they were a little bit more expensive and I was already buying other things so she said she would get them for me for my birthday this one is a little cream little cardigan and it is so pretty and then it has all these little flowers on it it is so darling and so feminine and I love the way that it fits me because it actually fits my shoulders properly because I've seen little cardigans like this at like actual stores recently because I feel like it was kind of trending to have these little flowers on like your cardigans but I hate having the shoulder seam like all the way down my arm here I don't know why modern sweaters do that so this one actually fits me perfectly again I'm not sure what time period this is from it could honestly be from like either the 50s to the 70s because I feel like in all those decades they wore things like this and just kind of based on the material and details. Okay and last but not least I might actually have to show you standing because I don't think you'll be able to see it. Let me move this chair. So this is the very last thing that I got and this is the most expensive thing that I got on that day but it's a birthday present so I'm not even gonna mention the price um, but it is beautiful. I am so excited about this. It is a World War II nurse's cape and I am in love. It is so beautiful. It is like navy blue and then it has like the little details here from the hospital um, and then it has the little vintage label. I always see people post photos in these and I had no idea where I could even get one. So I'm really excited to finally add something this historical to my clothing collection. So I'm really excited about it. Um, and yeah, I don't really have anything else to say about it other than just showing you like this because it's so pretty. Um, so I'm just going to hang it up here for now. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up this video. I know it was like really, really long. I found, like I said, so many amazing pieces. So let me know in the comments below which piece was your favorite. Um, I think I'm going to go because my throat is killing me right now and I'm going to get some coffee and I still have to do all the try on stuff. So um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe as well as turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss out on any new videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!